And in the studio with us is publisher of the Scroll Report, uh, Janet Mba for Labi. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, it's nice to have you, Janet, this morning. Absolutely. Yeah. And so talking about uh, what needs to be done now, people are saying, okay, there could be a reshuffle, maybe things will get better. But for now, what uh, can we do? Nigerian women need to wake up and create impact in whatever position that they are, whether you're a trader, whether you're a market woman, whether you're a teacher, a politician. First of all, you need to create an impact. That is when you'll be recognized. That is when people will know you merit the position that whoever wants to give to you. That's number one. There is a global visible effort at bridging the gap between men and women when it comes to uh, political participation and leadership roles. But it is not happening in Nigeria. But when the that? president made that promise, hopes rose. A lot of expectations, you know, um, were arisen mm. that oh, finally it is coming to Nigeria that women will be given 35% affirmative action. And based on that, a lot of women, millions of women, from the 40 million, I'm not, I wouldn't say that all the 40 million women who voted, voted. Who registered. Who Actually, registered. Who registered. Yes, <laughs> <That's> <laughs> registered. Sure. But majority of women voted because their hopes were raised. Expectation really, really rose. But now that expectation has fallen very flat. It's like we're back to the beginning. Yes. So what women can, we the women, because I don't want to say women, because I'm a woman too. What women can do now is firstly, we need to uncage our voice. A lot of women have been silenced. A lot of women are not speaking out. So we need to uncage our voice. We need to mobilize and begin to hold seminars, workshops to draw the attention of the government to the problem of women low representation. We need to also begin to demand that the 35% affirmative action bill should be passed by this assembly by this new assembly it was rejected by the former assembly because nigeria assembly has the lowest number of women mm. human representation women yes. representation in sub-saharan africa yeah. so next week we are organizing a conference we are looking at some national issues like fighting corruption and insecurity the way forward the way forward could be bringing in more women into the cabinet because we are always giving female minister of finance because they are dependable and trusted <laughs> right from other administration not just mm. this one and we are happy that you trust us enough to give us your money the country's money to <laughs> keep all right all right uh, jenny let, let me stay with you on on the need to uh, uh, get women together to be to make them more conscious you were mm. talking about the issue of uh, gathering women and and, and engaging them mm. uh, certainly that that is a very important and cogent area where and even during the political dispensation, people have been saying women are not conscious enough. If you go to the lines and see the, if you all do a head count, mm. you find more women voting than, than even men. The, line, the lines for the ladies sometimes is longer. It's but longer. at the end of the day, when it comes to appointments and so on, you find very few women. And people have talked about the issue of inadequate consciousness. What, what areas with this seminar you're talking about touch if we have to uh, uh, go there it's actually a conference mm. and we are bringing many women and we're encouraging women to also attend the conference next week to, to speak about various issues speak about the low representation okay. speak about why women need to be involved because you see good governance through inclusiveness and uh, proper representation mm. fair representation leads to progress mm automatically because everybody will be happy women feel used and dumped and you know when you have this feeling of used and dumb you either is either you withdraw or you are despondent or you begin to lose interest or you become hostile depends on the character involved so women are not are disappointed at the moment that the promise if that promise were not made it would have been a different thing but the promise was made and it was not kept. And that is why at the conference we'll be looking at all of these and many of those who are coming are going to speak. There are mainly, not mainly women, but more women are coming to speak, knowledgeable women who will speak on behalf of the This is a Lagos women. program, I believe. It's a Lagos program. Oh, okay. 
All right. Uh, Janet Mbaya Falabi, we wish you well uh, as you go on, you know, you know fighting <laughs> this uh, noble cause. And thank you very much for your contributions thank on TVC you. Breakfast. Thank, thank you. you.